also, and you mentioned that it's, if I understood correctly, that it's not enough to put them all under one roof. We need to also integrate their work, their methodology. So how, how far could that go? First, I don't know many agencies that think about their complete array of responsibilities in a, in a comprehensive way. That kind, of, that kind of planning is very hard to do. Uh, that is to, to see we have, a, we have a collection of responsibilities, we have a portfolio of mandates. Uh, how do we develop a program, a brand, that represents a coherent synthesis of those? That is, a, that is a, a, a very new frontier for policy making. I would say at a minimum in the example that, that you provide, uh, what does an agency owe? It owes a clear explanation of what it's doing. If this were a math exam, this is where there's a great agency, urgency to show your work. Uh, what are you relying on in order to accomplish the specific objective? Uh, and even if there are uncertainties about exactly where the boundaries of responsibility are, you have to say precisely what you're doing. You should not artificially flag a consumer protection concern or a data protection concern as a competition concern where the real motivation for what you're doing comes from the other policy domain. And if you're afraid about disclosing that clearly, I think you have to think more, more, more carefully about what you're doing. A merger that harms consumer welfare, but not because of the loss of competition, you would uh, would treat that as a, as a merger that I mean, the, 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 the notion of harm uh, in, the, in the consumer side and the competition side and the FTC, they're, they're both potentially quite broad. Indeed, the consumer notion of harm is perhaps even broader. Uh, but uh, I would say that uh, whatever, whatever conception of harm you use, it puts a real premium on disclosure, meaningful disclosure about what you've done and how you've done it, and more than that, if you're going to do something new, you should have a public discussion about what you're doing. That is at least at a, at a level of concept. Uh, I think I think good agency practice when we when we look around the planet is uh, what are what are good agencies doing before they do something new? They have workshops. They have a public discussion about what they're doing, uh, so that there is a debate before the fact about the general policy approach, and then there is careful, meaningful disclosure of what they've done after the fact so that the criticism and the debate, the approval can take place after in a well-informed way. I think the, the temptation, and this is the concern, this is the, the, the what you see in jurisdictions that have the multifaceted mandate with broad public interest concerns, is that there is an anxiety about saying, this is specifically why I took these measures because there's anxiety about being able to justify and persuasively rely upon the broader mandate, the broader public interest concern, the trade-off of jobs and social mobility with possible adverse competitive effects. Because it's hard to do, people tend to mask it instead of saying very directly, this is specifically what I'm doing and I am not bashful about saying so. Uh, 